everyone, Hero here, and welcome to my mix up video series for Monster Hunter World. Today's set is going to be another silly loadout that many of you have probably done before or haven't tested yet, but I want to see what the end effects would be. I present my Within Heart Focus Mix set, or the New World Rambo set. Now, this loadout is incredibly simple and easy to put together, that personally it doesn't even need a full explanation for my end. In fact, I'm going to cut the chase and tell you right now what you need. You need a Heavy Bowgun with Ruined Heart, Focus Gear at level 3, and Special Armor Boost at level 2. That's it. Alright, if you're still here, then you probably want to see what else I have for the set, instead of that brief explanation. Now, I must say that this is a meme build, or a gimmicky set, that won't give you any known advantages, or high damages, or anything like that. It's just a set that will allow you to bring out your inner Rambo, just for the thrills. So I just want to get this out in the clear and say, play the set for fun. Like, full manning, Wyvern Heart, a Elder Dragon, or speedrun a monster using just that ability. As this set won't you do much damage, but it's mainly designed for fun. And of course, this set can always be improved on, like many of my other mixed sets. So if you want to turn it into a supportive set, then go ahead. If you want to create an all-out damage DPS set, then go crazy with it, as this set can go any way you want it, as long as you stick with the main rules of the build. So what my set is going to focus on is more damage DPS in bursts, by deviating in between special weapon ammo and heavy bowgun ammo selection. This is to help when our Wyvern Heart runs out, which is going to do a lot of, and we need it to recharge your time. So whatever heavy bowgun you pick, make sure you know which ammo type you're going to be using to help take on the monster you face, while we are Wyvern Heart recharges. So with that brief explanation out of the way with, here are the stats for the set. I have Critical Eye 6 for the plus 25 affinity, Stun Resistance 3 to allow standing gate being stunned completely, Focus 3 to help speed up our weapon special ammo skill by 20% and increase our charge fill rate by 20%, Weakness Exploit 3 for 50% affinity upon multiple weak points, Critical Boost 3 for increasing our critical hits damage, Special Ammo Boost 2 for further increasing our special weapon skill, Spread Shot 1 for increasing our spread shot damage, Power Prolonger 1 which has no effect for our gear, and Evade Window 1 for a small buff in increasing our dodging abilities. Overall, this will give you an attack value of 308, which is the true raw 205, including power, charm, and talents for the set, 75% affinity, but can be increased to max if you want by swapping out the charm for a maximum might charm instead, and then add on a affinity arc to your weapon, but this would mean you would lose out on your focus skill. And then overall, a quite a stupid setup. That I'm sure you'll enjoy on your own or with your buddies. I recommend that you try out your buddies, just four man a monster using just a special ammo ability. It's quite hazardous. It feels quite weird. It works and it doesn't work. You you have to test it out first. If you then you'll understand what I genuinely mean by it. Now I've decided to go with the destruction through the state heavy bow gun or the Nergiante heavy bow gun, which has two deviation mods and a reload mod, and then use the spread down three for up close damage when I want that special ammo. This heavy bow gun is designed around spread down 3, that many players new or old may have used and is still a top contender for bringing out large amounts of damage in a short period, although currently is outshined by the Tower of Good on the heavy bow gun, which is a similar in terms of ammo economy, but allows better mod control, better ammo recoil, which pairs back into better mod customization, and better deviations and basically outright better functionality. Truly, it is a odd set to play with as Wyvern Fire for Star is weak to start off with, and only gets better once it builds up through continuous damage. And yet, this is a problem of its own that I've noticed. Once it builds up its damage, it's nearly practically done with its rounds, where you have to restart all over again, compared to many other setup, loadouts and builds etc that I've done before. No one's really done a specific build based around this one skill, and now I can see why. It's just not that practical and useful for most fights, plus the damage, like I mentioned before, won't be that great unless switching in between ammo, every time your Wyvern ammo runs out of basic ammo. I can understand the skill being weak and not packing a punch for many, in fact if you were hoping for this to be a strong mix set with some skills attached to it, then you're in for a rude awakening. However, let's not forget that special ammo skill isn't the only ammo choice we'll be using, in my case, I'll be using the spread rounds, which will make me hit a lot harder than normal, and will finish the monster I face enough time to set them up and finish them off using my special ammo skill. Sometimes, depending on the monster you face. Overall, it still works in your favour, even though the certain skill requires a bit of a build-up to be effective. 
If you want to get the most out of the set, then it's best to use your special ammo when the monster is at its weakest, or most vulnerable, so when trapped, put to sleep, paralyzed, or knocked down. This is the best way to get more out of the set, and the specific skill as well. So my final verdict for the mix set is that yes, it is quite a great set to mess around with, and only messing around with. The damage you can bring out with the set can go from average to very high if you know how to use your wooden fire and then back to your ordinary select damage type. But its damage won't be game changing, it will just be effective in certain situations and certain fights and such. Plus it only does it in short bursts, so you're not going to be able to sustain a large amount of damage in one go, compared to using stuff like hammers, bows, light bow guns and such. It only does short amount of burst damage there and then, unless you can think of another way around it. Please remember that this set is just a meme build I created, and I want you guys to see how viral it can be without taking it too seriously. So if you're someone that's always wanted a Rambo build that focuses around the heavy build on special ammo skill, then this is what it will most likely look like, and what you'll be in for. So that does come to the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy the content then do leave a like, a sub, and also do you press the bell button to stay always updated to when I upload, as I would appreciate a lot if you do. But like always, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.